Hey everyone, it's Brandy and you're watching Abstract Crafter. Today we have an Evershine official store unboxing and I have, um, I don't really know what to call it, a look at one that I had gotten a couple months ago that I never unboxed on my channel. So it's a twofer Evershine unboxing and showing. So if you want to see what I got, what I thought, Keep watching, and we'll get right into it. All right, here we go. Let's open this thing and see what it looks like. I mean, I... I I know what it looks like. <laughs> I ordered it. And I actually ordered this to as a gift. It wasn't meant to be like a Christmas gift or anything like that, or I would have ordered it a couple months ago, but um, I saw this painting, and I actually had it in my wish list for a little while, and the picture itself it is like a perfect picture for my favorite cousin. Her name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, if you're watching, hi, this will be for you. So if you don't want to see, you don't want to ruin the surprise, here's your opportunity to click off now. But honestly, what you see here and when it's completed, way, way different. So as the title suggested and in the intro, this is from Evershine. And before we get too far, I just wanted to show you how it was packaged, just like the typical diamond painting in this thicker plastic that looks like it's got ashes in it. <laughs> Can you see that? It's just dust, but uh, so it's, a, it's thicker. It didn't have any extra tape on it. Like sometimes they'll tape the ends just to make it extra secure. It didn't have any of that. So this is my second order that I've gotten from Evershine. And I'll show you the first one I got. And I the reason that that was never unboxed on my channel was because it was a gift. Um, my husband got it for me when, if you remember, back in October, if not, I'll link the video, where I w was waiting on one of two Halloween diamond paintings that I ordered. And this one in particular was called Trick or Treating. And I'll actually insert a picture while I'm talking about it right here. And so I ordered that, and when the package arrived to me, the painting was missing. All I got were the diamonds, plus other issues, like shipping issues. So if you want to know more about that, go watch that video, and I won't rehash it here. But this is in pretty rough shape. I mean, it both of the ends are ripped. Well, yeah, they were both ripped. It's taped together right there, so ugh, I'm a little little concerned. So, also, if you didn't know, Evershine is actually a Huacan company. It's a Huacan sister company. So, you can see inside here. Come on. All the, everything's packed. You can see the canvas there. It looks a little rough on the edge. You can see the toolkit there. And I'm guessing the diamonds are underneath that. And I can tell that they're in here because it's pretty heavy. So, why don't we dump the contents out? And right off the bat, you get the same toolkit that you would get from Huacan. Sorry, my light is bouncing. I'm having trouble with it today. For some reason, it just doesn't look right. Yeah, so you get the white tray, the nice pointy tweezers, the clear glittery pen, if you can see that, with the three-placer, an additional nine-placer, and a grippy. They, I think they always send blue from Huacan, so... So there's that, and I got the same kit with the other, toolkit with the other one, but I didn't bring it up. So, get the canvas out, pull the beads out, and you'll notice that they are in baggies, the same way who can does it. And it's a pretty muted color palette, but there's a reason for that. So, uh, here is the thumbnail of the picture. And I'll insert a picture here, and then I'll tell you what I named this one and all the other relevant information. So we'll insert that right here because it's going to be a lot better picture than I'm showing you here. So 
So, pretty cool, huh? It's a little darker than what I normally order for myself personally. But I call this one Forest Library. And it's mostly because of the books that make up the path. So, I mean, it's not super clever. But my cousin Elizabeth is, like, to say obsessive would be an understatement. I mean, she could probably verify that. But she loves books. She even works in a library. So I thought, as soon as I saw this picture, I thought, oh my God, that's so Elizabeth. And it was a pretty decent size. I ordered this in, oh, covered up my page of information, in a 45 by 60. I know I do typically order 50 by 50s, but I wanted something a little different, so I'm actually glad. I actually ordered this at the same time that I ordered three other paintings from three other stores and this one was the last one to arrive so it's for shipping information we can go over that really quickly while I get this tape off and stuff so okay I ordered this December 4th they it took them about a week to process and get it shipped out of their warehouse so it I ordered December 4th it shipped December 10th and it was delivered to me on January 2nd for a total of 30 days, which isn't ultimately too terrible. Uh, they, I've noticed, I noticed this with the last order, that they really take up the whole entire processing time that they're allowed. So when you order on AliExpress, you'll notice that if you're on your order form page and it shows your your order and the painting that you ordered and whatnot, it'll say up at the top when it's processing, it'll say this order has this many days to process and ship. And then it'll go when it does ship, once it's out of their warehouse and into the shippers, it will have another timer that counts down and it says that you have so many days. Typically it's 60 days, some places have 30, some have 45. It'll say it has this many days to arrive to you, and if it doesn't arrive to you in that time frame, then you can file a dispute. So, I did notice, um, since this is only my second one, I can't really say too much on it, but that does seem like they take the maximum. I mean, it was like down to hours before it finally processed, finished processing and shipping. And I want to take a look at the back. This is something that I've started doing with my unboxings because it can give away any... Um, defects in the canvas itself and it doesn't look like there's anything it looks really good so far I see a really weird white spot right there I'm not really sure <clears throat> we'll see when we unravel it what that actually is so it does look like this is a 40 color and it's a very dark color scheme and oddly enough the next painting you see is also now as you know, I'm not a fan of multiple strips on a canvas. I like a couple. I'm not a big fan of one, two, three, four, five strips on a canvas. That kind of drives me a little crazy. And then you can see here, if it'll show you, that there is transfer from something. Like, it's all the way across. Maybe it's the light is too bright. Let's see I'll try this. It might get really dim, but I just want to see if we can pick this up. We'll get the big light back on, but let's see. Yeah, it's still kind of not showing. But you can kind of see where it came off the machine. Those must have been like the rollers. And they were obviously dirty or full of ink or something. Because it all transferred onto the white border here on the canvas. So oddly enough, this one is not branded. Typically, Evershine will brand theirs up in the corner, and you'll see it. I'll show it to you on the other canvas. And it also doesn't have the Huacan paper on here. It has, it's from the Sunner Group. So that'll be um, an interesting thing to compare. We can try out the stickiness on the one I have next to show you, because that one has actually got the Evershine logo on it, and it's got the Huacan paper on it, so... It'll be interesting to see. I've kind of, you know, I've, I've always had both. And I've never really tried anything with it. 
So this, like I said, this was a 45 by 60. It cost $17.96. It is a full square. The other one I have is a round. So that, that'll be a nice, interesting comparison. And so I'm not seeing a whole lot of detail just yet. I'm trying to figure out, okay, so the bottom is over here and the top is here. And I think that's pretty typical with Huacan and its sister companies. Um, I was a little bit worried about pixelization, but I thought, well, it shouldn't be pixelized because the detail, you know, it's a pretty decent sized painting. I could maybe see like a 30 by 40 and worrying a little bit about the detail, but with it being such a dark painting, um, let's see if we can get this in there the right way so you can kind of see. So you can definitely see the trees try to get the glare off of there for you guys and it really likes that and you can see the staircase the book path <laughs> you can see a lantern pretty clearly there's another one there's a couple mushrooms so you can make out some details um, and this was the bright spot that I was seeing on the underside of the canvas so not too shabby let's get this paper put back on I can guarantee I'm not gonna get it lined up very well I can see the line, so that's what I'm going to try to aim for, of uh, where the paper was originally laid. So I'm going to try to aim for that, and you can kind of control it by pulling pretty tightly on it. And I'm not seeing any defects in the canvas. Once I get most of these strips down, I will um, bring the canvas back up to you so you can see the symbols. I'm not seeing any defects or anything in the canvas itself. So that's a bonus. You know, I really haven't noticed too many canvas issues as of late. I mean, they're still there, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they don't exist. But I have seen a little bit of an improvement. It could be from the, just merely the stores that I'm ordering from. But I try not to buy the absolute cheapest unless it's from a store I really trust. Just because that is one clear way to avoid, you know, issues like that with not only your canvas, but with your bead inventory. So I did leave a little bit of a gap right down here. I don't know if my camera will show it or not, but I did leave a little bit of a gap down there. But typically what I find I have to do when there's multiple sheets is I end up having to put the washi tape on around the edges so that I can get the paper to line up and you can see here that this tape goes almost it's more than halfway up this ooh, side of the canvas ooh butterfingers and over here it it's just coming off a little and that's more what I prefer is just to come off a little bit I don't like to have to put tape on this side I usually will put clear tape on that side but Oh, and just so we can get a good look at the symbols, so you can see that they're they're pretty clear, you know. And I, in skimming it when we had the paper off, that was pretty um, <clears throat> prevalent throughout. So let's see if we can get these next two strips down as good as the first three went down. I think this one might be need to be adjusted and so look at that now there is a little bit of glue up here that is still sticking out so that's probably just me needing to readjust the paper a little bit and I can tell that it I can see where I didn't get it quite right if that's not something that bothers you then um, Obviously, you don't have to worry about it, but I have three cats and a husky, so it is something that I like to try to cover as best as I can, because I don't like pulling hairs off of my canvases, if, if you know what I mean. It's not my favorite thing to do. I'm just going to try to get these laying back down, and then I'll just lift that side up. 
Um, and I know it's been said many times, but I do have quite a few people that are subscribed to me now that are newer to diamond painting. And so, um, another reason besides lifting up this paper to show you guys the canvas is it does help flatten it because you can see here how it's still curled. Once I pull the paper up on that side and lay it back down, that should flatten it out. I don't know why it does that, why it works like that, but I am sure glad it does because I could not imagine trying to store these diamond paintings all curly all the time. That would be not so much fun to try to fix. Well, I still have a little bit of a gap on the bottom there, but I don't think that me sitting here fussing over it over and over is really going to benefit us. Oh, geez, well, I just made it worse. <clears throat> I just want to try to fix this as best I can and I can get it better off camera. So, uh, like I said, this one was 40 colors. My other one is also 40 colors. So, we'll take a look at the beads in just a minute. I just want to get this quickly pulled up. And one thing that you'll know is you can tell when so, pulling the paper this way, it kind of loosens that bond between this cover paper and the tape itself. And when you're trying to pull up the paper on the opposite side, you can tell when you've hit something that's already been uncovered. Like, I could feel, you know, I know I went to about there, and I should be able to feel a difference in pulling this cover paper off because it gives a, a lot more resistance the first time you pull it off and the second time it will come away much easier. So once you can feel that resistance stop, then you know you don't have to keep going with it. And even, I even take my little bone folder and I do run it on these paper, on these type of canvases as well. Not, I don't do it with just the clear covers because I find that it does help a lot with that as well. All right, so that part's done. So why don't we take a look? I mean, the beads are gonna probably not be super appealing. I can tell just by looking, glancing over. They're very, very dark and they don't come with inventory sheets. So what I do here is I will just make a copy of this and since I got this up here, why don't we take a look here quickly at the symbols. So very basic. They use, oh, actually they're not basic. They use a mix of basic and complex ones. And they're not always good about, it's like they just throw it in a program, whatever the program picks, and they don't go back through and fix it. Because you'll see, like, I've had it on my Huacan Butterfly, this particular symbol here next to 734. There's another one just like it where instead of the double line, there's just one line. And I, on that particular one, they were the same color. Um, both symbols, the one with the two lines and the one with the one line. And it was very hard to differentiate, especially that canvas in particular got blurry in one corner. So, so you can see, um, and with this color being the color palette that it is, I'm really hoping that once I get working on it, that the symbols won't really matter too much that maybe they'll be easy enough to differentiate but let's take a look at these colors and since there is 40 colors we'll just count really quick to make sure I have all 40 I will pause I will do a more in-depth tutorial tutorial and more in-depth inventory and then I'll, you'll come back You'll see the colors, and then we'll just really quickly look at the other canvas that I have to show you. And I can see beads float, this, well, a bead floating around in there, this lime green one. So that tells me that one of the baggies wasn't sealed very well. So one, two, and that looks like its owner right there. Just inspect it to make sure there's no holes. It doesn't look like, it probably was just at the top and escaped. So one, two, try to throw them in some kind of order so that when I do inventory, three, <laughs> it'll be easier for me. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a lot of browns, thirteen, oh, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh, this is an interesting color. <clears throat> Actually, I have this color. It just looks different under the light. I don't remember where I was at. My count was at now. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty. So we have forty bags. Um, I'm pretty sure all the colors are here, but I like to be able to show you guys what the colors all look like. So we will do that. Um, I'm seeing here that they do have uh, the little thing on here, the V4723, it's the same on the canvas here, V4723, plus it has the canvas size and the number count. So, if that's how you store your diamonds, that is one way to be able to know. And it looks like they used a couple of the number 19s just to close the bag. Awesome! Okay, so I will be right back. And when we come back, you'll see a new scene and all of the colors laid out so we can look at them together. So, be back in one split second. So, as you can see, well, maybe you can't see that, but I can tell you that what you see is all here and accounted for. And something else for my newbies, maybe some of you guys that have been doing this for a while, might not know too that with Who Can Ever Moment... No, not ever, ever shine. <laughs> AZQSD. They all do things pretty similar. AZQSD, I guess. I'm not remembering. I, I did hit up my one from there. But if you look on here, you'll get the number in which it falls on the chart. The DMC number of the color. Oh, and I'm going blurry. Come on, camera. It's too much shine. And then this last number, this 3325, is the quantity in this bag. And so one thing that I do when I do inventory on these particular types where they're weighed instead of giving you the 200 count bags is 34. I come over, I just make sure it matches, 3790. And then this last number, this 3325, should be bigger than the number that you have here because they're including the 30% overage. So I should have 2818. That's what's needed in this painting itself, but they are saying they gave me 3325. So all I can do is just trust that that's accurate. Um, it, it's hard to kind of differentiate all the colors, but pretty sure I got like every brown and tan and green in the DMC catalog. <laughs> and there's not a lot of variation of colors so it's it's a very very dark dark color palette but I knew that when I ordered it and hopefully everything will still look all right I I guess the only thing I was kind of bummed about is that there wasn't like a cream color or a white color for the books but I guess I just remember I'm remembering it wrong as you can see these two colors here I'm gonna get awful sick of browns. I'm gonna, and you can see 
they always have tons of rogue beads inside. So that's one thing that you have to watch out for. They appear to be pretty decent quality just from checking them out in the bags. But I've been deceived this way before. So it, I really won't be able to know much about that until I actually start working. So why don't we put these away. I'm going to measure this canvas quick and then I'll show you that other one that I told you about. Uh, and it's in rounds. So obviously they do offer their paintings in both round and in square. I don't know if they have a price difference between them. That's not something I forgot to check on. But they most pictures are offered in both round and square. I don't know if they even have any that aren't. Like that you can only get in round or only get in square. I didn't think to check on that until just this moment that I'm speaking to you about it but um so we'll measure this we'll give it a score and then we'll look at the other one we won't go obviously into as much detail with that one I've already done inventory on it I've already done all the other pertinent relevant information as far as like measuring it and all that stuff so I'll just be able to give you that information instead of having to you know do it on camera with me so Let's get that folded up and put away. And the nice thing about these is that you could work right out of the bags if you wanted to. So you wouldn't have to worry about getting these kitted up. I used to just transfer these into containers. But after doing working on the Realis one, I find that I actually do like working out of the baggies now. I got cut off. So I was saying I kind of like working out of the baggies. It just eliminates a step as far as like I don't have to draw labels or anything like that and if I wanted to I could just put them away in these baggies of course I won't do it that way because OCD won't let me but that's quite all right so let me grab my measuring tape here and give this a quick measure my other one didn't measure exact it was just a slight bit off but they do have a big disclaimer of allowing one to three inches and this is hitting at 58 and a quarter oh is that right let me just make sure yeah 58 and a quarter inches so I'm gonna see if I can jot that down See, uh, this is my little sheet that I read off of off screen 58. And let's see what it, what we got going this way. 44 and three quarters. 44.75. So not bad. It's pretty close. It's supposed to be a 60 by 45, and I think that's. That's about as close as you're going to get. Alright, so why don't we run down scoring on this and then we'll look at the other one. I never did give the other one a score, so we'll be able to do that at the same time. And the way that it works with multiple canvases from the same store is all the scores go in and then I just take an average of all the scores from each canvas. So, it, this is the, my new scoring guideline. For um, unboxings, if you want a more detailed explanation of how all these points break down, there is a video down in the description box that you can click on and it will explain everything for you. So, canvas condition, it's actually in really good shape and I think one thing I didn't mention was that this one, same with the other one, they're very thin. It's probably the thinnest canvases that I've ever gotten is from Evershine. I think I have one other company that is as thin as they are and they have a thick plastic coating and they're very canvassy on the back so this plastic coating can come off fairly easily. I've noticed I hang them on trouser hooks, trouser hangers that have little rubber ends and the rubber will pull this plastic coating off but so the canvas condition is pretty good. It's really 
pristine. There's no, what do I call it? There's no bubbles, there's no rivers, no gouges, tears, anything like that. It's about as good as you can ask for in a canvas. Uh, the canvas image, based on first impressions, once I looked through it through the camera, I was able to see it a little bit better. So the image was, I was able to make it out. It does look good. It doesn't look like it's going to be pixelated or anything like that. And that's what that is speaking on, the canvas image image the clarity of symbols I, it, they're very clear um it did have a complete beat inventory as far as i could tell everything was included it had a nice toolkit all the beads were there the canvas was there uh the outside packaging you saw they did their best i think they could have went a step further and taped the end but the only other thing was the box wasn't in the greatest of shape but it ultimately arrived to me pretty good so I guess I can't complain too much so uh, I can give it the point for that I will give it the point for the way it was packed it was packed it did have this cellophane wrapped around it and it was inside of the foam core and this is one of those smaller ones I guess it's not as small as it used to be they have been pretty small in the past but so this was pretty decent. It didn't seem to affect the canvas at all. I know some people have been having issues with their canvases being too tightly rolled on their foam rollers, but that wasn't an issue for me. Fast processing and shipping. Now, see, I think I'm going to take the half point off because they were hours away from just canceling my order altogether. And so when I speak about fast processing and shipping, that is just talking more about while it's within the store itself so when i order it from the time they get it out this does not count once it's out of their warehouse and into the mailing system like usps and ems and e-packet and all that that doesn't whatever happens while it's in their hands i don't count that against the company this is simply from the time that i place my order to the time it leaves their warehouse that's what this fast processing and shipping is speaking on and because I've had companies that like I said I ordered this the same day the same time the same basically the same order as three other canvases and this was the last one to arrive so had they processed it maybe a day or two faster it probably would have been here you know last month so I'm going to take a half point off for that but I'm two points for overall first impressions so based just on that alone and everything else I am pretty happy with my order uh, do I know if I would order from them again I don't know yet I, I have to actually put beads on a canvas before I can make that decision but so far yes I'm very happy with I think this is about as well as an unboxing could go so overall 9.5 out of 10 not a bad start Typically, most unboxings will get a 10 out of 10, and I'm just going to add that to my little sheet of information so I can plug it into my spreadsheet. 9.5, not too bad. So, let's move this guy out of the way, and I'm actually going to pause you because I have to dig out the other canvas. And that one will go, like I said, a lot quicker. We don't have as much information to go over with that one. So, um, when we come back, you'll have a different canvas in front of you. Okay, we're back. So this is the one I call Haunted House. And again, you wouldn't have seen me do this one. And I'm going to turn it for you so you can see. The bottom is pretty much all just dark. It's just one big blur. And I will insert a picture in a minute here. But this is kind of what this one looks like. It is a full round, which I do appreciate. I didn't know it was a round. I, I didn't pay much attention when I was ordering it. Uh... It is pretty pixelated though. I think this would have been, I, I guess when I ordered it, I thought the size would be okay. Well, why don't I insert a picture so that you can see for yourself what it is that I'm talking about. So let's put that in right here. So you can see where I thought that it might be a fairly simple picture, but some of this stuff is, 
you can kind of get a good imagination of what things will look like and I'm trying not to pull my cover paper all the way off um, like here is one of the windows you really can't tell what that is or that and you know a lot of this will be you won't be able to tell really until you get the beads on there but even I thought they were fairly simple and it's not like this is a super small canvas either so I just I once I got it I was I got it well will tell talk about shipping in a minute I wasn't really excited to get started on it because it didn't have a lot of the detail plus it got to me after Halloween so this was ordered on this October 10th it was shipped out October 17th it was delivered to me on October November 7th and uh, for a total of 29 days so almost as long as the one below it and I did just have it up there but this is what the symbols on this one look like they're very clear and they have my favorite dummy circles around there I know some people don't like that they find it distracting I find that people that don't tend to like them started out with squares and squares you know you don't really need those guides as much uh, you don't see the circles as much in the darker areas but in the lighter areas it will make a huge difference um, let me put this cover paper back down and actually before I do that I did say I wanted to see if there was a comparison between the sticky and even though this one is two months old they feel for the most part they feel exactly the same this one maybe feels a little more tacky and that could be just simply because it was um, adhered a lot more recently than this one um, this one seems to be pretty dull but and you can see it's almost the exact same color scheme just in rounds and not squares so uh, this one will get done before Halloween of this year um, it'll probably get done when I want to work on a round again I have quite a few squares that I got to get through I like to try to rotate between the two um, and again you can see where it was branded up here with the Evershine logo and this one was not so if it was it would be right up in here I'm guessing that with the holidays they probably just ran out of their supplies that does seem to happen I did get a very similar toolkit just without the black tweezers I got those chintzy silver tweezers that we tend to get with everything um, and this is what this chart looks like it's fairly simple I'm trying to get that glare that light out of there you know and they have the circles included on there so, so that you can see better so yeah very similar color scheme to this one um, but obviously a very different picture so I mean I still like it I'm still very much so excited about it this one also was a 40 color it the size I ordered was a 30 by 70 30 by 45 at the time I paid eight dollars and 73 cents for it and I named this one haunted house there's nothing super spectacular about that um, I just pull the colors out here for you to you know obviously we don't need to do an inventory but we can still take a peek at some of the colors and what they look like oh and so again they are rounds and but they don't seem to have a lot of detail on top like you, the cuts aren't super obvious on top I haven't noticed that that really makes all that much difference you, I think you still get a pretty good sparkle I mean obviously it's nothing like diamond dots where their cuts are so intense that you can see them sparkling in the bag so I guess for that reason yeah you're not gonna get as you're gonna get a different sparkle and at some point I will show you that in a video where it's the really dull ones compared to the ones that have a good cut on them but so you can see the color scheme is very Halloweeny it's it's a Halloween uh, diamond painting and had this arrived to me before Halloween I probably would have started it out of Four Halloween canvases that I got I only got one done two of those were diamond dots and two of them were diamond paintings and I only got one of them done I just 
it took longer than I thought and I should have ordered in September and obviously the main color in this one is 310 that's expected in a Halloween diamond painting but so yeah there's a look at the color palette and then just this last little row of diamonds here. I didn't have them in any special order or anything. Uh, just take a quick peek. And I found it interesting to get around. This was, you know, I had done so many rounds that I was just sick to death of doing them. And I got really badly addicted to just ordering squares all the time. And now I, like I said earlier, I like to have a nice mix of both. And this one, again... This is a TS-265 is the code, and that is printed here with the size of the canvas and the number of colors in this particular kit. So, the way, the measurement on this one was fairly close as well. It's a 30 by 45, and it did measure 29 and 7 eighths by 45 and a half, 44 and a half. So, just a little bit off. So, that's good to know that Evershine measurements are not exact. Um, we've all seen companies that were exact on their measurements. Evershine just isn't one of them. So that's something to keep in mind that they are always a little bit off. Their prices are, I'd say, so-so, pretty normal. As you could see there, this one was just under $9 for a 30 by 45. And the next size, one of the next sizes up, 45 by 60, was almost $10 more. So it just depends on the picture that you're getting. It, they don't seem to have any rhyme or reason to how they price things out. And I just seen something on this canvas that's driving me nuts. So, but as for I'm trying to see where I put my, my sheet. So for this one, the canvas condition, it was really good. You can see on the back of this one that there's no divots or anything like that. But you can see up at the top how... It's very wrinkly, and that's because this image, you know, when the ink goes on warm, and then they put the cover paper down, it doesn't have time to shrink back down to what size it would be when it was cool, and so they put this tape on before it had a chance to completely cool, and so when it did, it sh shrank in, but this canvas had nowhere to go. So the tape protected the size of the image underneath, and that's what causes that pinching on the ends. This one had it a little bit too, but not as bad. And the quality of the canvas seems to be the exact same. There's no difference there. Um, but canvas condition, I thought was very good. The canvas image, based on first impressions, I'm gonna take a half point off for that because I don't think that the image very clearly depicts, I, I feel like it might be pixelated. They might redeem that point in post, but until then, We'll just have to wait. Uh, Clarity of Symbols was there. Had a complete bead inventory. Everything was included. The outside packaging, I remember, was similar to this one. I did get it in a box. Maybe it was a bag. I don't quite remember that. But I remember I wasn't irritated by it or anything. So, uh, I believe that the inside packaging was, was also nice. I am taking a half a point off, again, for fast processing and shipping. Evershine definitely is not a company to go to if you want your order processed and shipped out fast. So I'm going to take a half a point out for that. And then overall, first impressions, am I happy with my order? I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm not going to say I'm unhappy. I wasn't excited enough to start on it right away, but that could have something to do with the time I got it and the time I ordered it. So I'm not going to take away anything from that because that's on me, not on them. So they can keep their two points, but that does still leave them at a 9 out of 10. So they lost a half a point for fast processing and shipping, and they lost a half point for the canvas Im image. It's not completely terrible, but again, in post-review, they might completely lose that. It just all depends. So as of now, based on these two paintings I would give Evershine a uh, 9.25 out of 10 which is still really good it's still in the range of recommend so 
if you are wanting to take a chance on a company, just keep in mind they are an ever or they oh, ever moment. They are a Hua Can sister company, and I might or might not have a video coming where it's Hua Can versus her sisters, <laughs> or Evershine and AZQSD. I might do a video where I'm comparing the three canvases and seeing how similar and how different they are and how different and similar their customer services, their websites, all of that. Not just the kit themselves. So that's something I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. But with that, I will let you go. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. This was a long one, but I appreciate it so, so much. Um, Comment down below. Let me know your experience with Evershine. I want to hear I want to hear your stories. Did you have a really good experience with Evershine? Are they your number one company? Or did you have just the most horrendous experience with them and you'll never shop from them again? Or are you somewhere in between? Share down below so that you can help myself and everyone else out with your experience from this store to help us make an educated decision and whether or not we want to purchase. I am all for being informed consumers. We can all do a little bit to play our part in that and help each other out. So with that, I will let you go. Have an awesome day. Have fun diamond painting. Have fun crafting. Have fun doing whatever it is that makes you happy. I love you, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.